Hello stormwater designers and welcome back to Clear Creek Solutions hydrology education videos. Before starting this video I suggest hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel so you can view more of our videos on all sorts of hydrology related software and topics. Anyways we'll get into this video here. If you haven't checked out our earlier videos on TR55 we've gone over how to create basic, pro basic projects, how to run projects. Now we're going to go more in depth into the land use area included in TR55 as well as to add a custom curve number land use to a TR55 model. So let's set up a sample project here just real quick. I'm just going to type in sample project. If you've seen our other videos, you know uh, how to do this already. We will stick with the Cuyahoga County uh, in Ohio and a standard dimensionless, unil dimensionless unilist hydrograph. We're going to go project um, practice and the description will be, uh, I'm just going to say forested so now we have a sub area description set up. Now we can get our area weighted curve number uh, going here. So if we go to land use details, this is the screen that's included in TR55 for land use details. You can see that it's going to need to select a sub area name. So we created one, right? We created project PR um, for project practice. And now we have that. We can also rename it from this menu. But what does this menu look like? Well, you can see this quite a few different uh, land use options available. And so we have fully developed urban areas, impervious areas, urban districts, residential districts by average lot size, western desert urban areas, and then we're going to do this user defined urban area. And so we're going to create a custom or a curve number, developing urban area, the cultivated agric agricultural lands, other agricultural lands, arid and semi arid rangelands is at the bottom here. And you can see that there is the A, B, C, and D type soils available for the various curve numbers. And in these boxes, you can enter how much of that area is included in your project. You can also scroll between the various land use groups by selecting these buttons down here uh, to then see all those different categories. So I'm going to scroll down and we're going to do a custom curve number. So if I open up custom curve number, and they actually have an example in the TR55 manual here where we can create a custom curve number. Uh, in this case. So if you go here, it says the average percent impervious areas shown for the urban residential area areas are those used to develop the given composite curve numbers. Other assumptions made for urban residential districts are impervious areas are directly connected to the drainage system, impervious areas have a curve number of 98, and pervious area curve number is equivalent to pasture and good hydrologic condition. Of the assumptions, the only constant is that impervious areas have a curve number of 98. If the table curve number values do not fit a particular project, the custom curve number window can be used to make appropriate adjustments and compute a revised value. So the custom curve number window allows entry and editing of data to develop a composite urban curve number when the standard cover description assumptions on the land use details window do not apply and the user can enter appropriate numbers into the custom curve number window to create a composite curve number to fit a specific land cover. So that's what we're going to do here. Okay, so let's fill in our custom curve numbers here. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna enter in the pervious curve number value. So these are just their default values that show up. I'm just going to enter in some custom ones here. So I have 45, 67, 80, and 92. Then we add in the percent of the impervious area for each of those soil groups. Let's say 15, 20, 25, and 5%. And then the percent of that impervious area that is unconnected, I'm going to say 10, 0, 0, and 0. So you can see for A, B, C, and D, we now have the percent impervious that's unconnected in the impervious area for all those previous curve numbers for the different hydrologic soil groups. So I'm going to hit accept. Now that custom curve number is available for you to select in your project. So you could also mix uh, typical or standard curve numbers with your custom curve numbers. So let's say there was five acres of A and four of B, and then let's say there's three of this C number, C number here, we can click accept and we can get a new weighted curve number based on that. So there's 12 total acres in the project and has a weighted curve number of 65. So that's how to set up a custom curve number and select the land use uh, in a TR55 project. Do you have any questions about that? You should leave it in a comment down below. And anyways, I will see you guys next time. 